Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Star and welcome back to Chrono Claw. Last time we left off, we met Crow. Well, how we met her, of course. Now let us continue this wonderful, wonderful journey with Crow. She's got that right. In spite of my family's obscene well, they did try to raise me like a normal child. Learning how to be responsible is money. What built character, they said. Currently, they provide me with a monthly allowance of just 3,000 yen. Return, they currently leave me to my own devices when it comes to my day-to-day -day life. But I'm just delaying the inevitable. As the eldest son of the Sawatari family, I will eventually lose the right to choose my own way. As a third generation successor, I am expected to be a model employee who will one day speak for the entire company. No pressure, man. I never wanted to change my own destiny though. I didn't have any other dreams or aspirations. <clears throat> and I'd always known that my future was set in stone anyway. However, I just had a brush with death. Prior to that experience, I had not truly understood what it meant to be alive. What is it that you're not gonna grant me a wish? And you just reverse the time on my. As she read my mind, Crow gave me a serious expression. Or well, actually, a serious question of me. I clenched my fist without realizing it. <coughs> I. I. I'm not obsessed with money like my grandfather was. Oh? <coughs> I will use this power to make my daily life more fun, and more, most importantly of all, I can finally get a girlfriend and graduate from my status as a virgin. Tawaki, <laughs> Oh god. That was my first encounter with Crow, and was the power of Cronus Claw. That's it? That's the end? Oh, okay, now there's more to the prologue. Okay. What's all this about? Wasn't expecting to see you at school. After classes let out, Crow was waiting for me outside the school building. One important thing of note here, I'm the only person able to see or hear Crow, so I found myself attracting the stink eye from people around me as I greeted her. お主の時計の力を使ったであろう。一体何かと思ってな。It uh, I couldn't deny what she said what she said. Uh, I couldn't deny what she was saying since I had to go and open my big fat muff that time. Anyway, you shouldn't be saying virgin over and over again with the way you're dressed. You're making me kinda of nervous here. Nanda? Now look here, don't you dare underestimate a growing boy like that. Hell, I could use you to... to, to, to um... Diddle my fiddle later if I wanted to. <laughs> oh god. Why well, we were bantering back and forth like that? It happened. I was already looking up since Crow was. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I had to let, let her out of yawn there. Oh, since Crow was floating off the ground. The shadow of something falling caught my eye. It was a person. A girl was falling from the sky. Huh? It should be obvious, but her de descent did not miraculously cease the further she fell. Her body smashed into the ground. 
Attends. My, my same thought is exactly what the <laughs> Ow, my ear. You gotta warn people when you're gonna scream, man. Ain't right. Seriously, nearby are screaming horror. Her, her, I can't, I can't pronounce words. I don't know. Did she jump? Did you see it happen? Somebody pushed her? Or murder? Hearing close, this interesting voice finally snapped me out of haze. A suicide? Not nah, just a. D d damn it! I grabbed my pocket watch and threw it against the pavement. Yep. It's the same scene that's gonna play. Okay, I thought the same scene was gonna play again and again and again. Five minutes earlier in the classroom. I was back in my home again. Classes had already ended, so it was practically deserted. It seemed like I safely rewound time to just before anything happened. What the hell was that? Right out of goddamn nowhere. Somebody fell to their death. So I know that sounds so horrible right there when I said somebody fell to their death. No. It should have just been one whole entire thing. That she doesn't really think the same way that humans do. Any troll doesn't feel that a human dying is something to get worked up about. Wait, this isn't the time to argue over that. I didn't see exactly where the girl had fallen from, but she must have been up on the roof somewhere. I can't stop yawning. Why? Crow, go look up on the roof for me. I'll just do it. With reluctance, she ascended through the scene off the classroom and disappeared. I can't fly her past through the walls like she can, so I have to take the long way upstairs. There are only a few places where the roof can be accessed and none of them are close by. I counted down the time as I ran. One, two, three. I was in the classroom for about one minute and I had been running for at least two minutes. Worst case scenario, I might have already lost four minutes. Knowing I only had one minute left, I kept running, dripping with sweat until I finally reached the door to the roof and threw it open. Just as I had expected, I was not alone on the hot and humid rooftop. Aside from Crow, two other people stood there. Two people? It wasn't a suicide? A murder? My heart partner in control of me, I yelled to the person I recognized as if it were some sort of suspense movie. Oh, it's um... Oh. Suji, did you kill her? Uruさいぞ、バカ。なんだその古臭いミステリー小説のタイトルみたいな叫びは? <laughs> Suji was his usual apprehensive self. Hearing him joking around like that, throw me off for a moment. Now what? I turned to Crow, still wondering what had happened. Uh, no. Crow just shrugged her bare shoulders. That bright sun really did make her look more enticing. <laughs> I then turned to the young girl whom I had had seen fall off the roof a moment ago. Uh, Isn't that the chick from the beginning? <coughs> she was so surprised at my sudden entrance that she turned bright red and stopped speaking altogether like the mermaid who lost her voice. <coughs> she was a cute little girl, probably a, a first year. Yeah, definitely a cutie. I scratched my head wondering why I never checked out any of the first year girls before. Um, what exactly is going on here? I don't know. I was just called to the top of the roof. Oh, did this girl try to assassinate you? You must have thrown her off the roof in, in self-defense, right? I know the head is wrong, but I don't know why I have to kill her. Because you have a big fat mouth. Hasn't anyone told you that before? I don't think my mouth is wrong. Or so Suji says. Though he's technically right, he's never he never lies. He always says exactly what he's thinking with as much bluntness as possible, no matter the circumstance. See what I mean? If you don't watch your mouth with people, before you know it, you're gonna make enemies like that. District like the shop and district having an eighty percent discount on fuck you. No <laughs> Oh god. You're asking me? <coughs> Don't 
Running? No, wait, wait. Now we're just talking the same way we always do. よく考えろ、サンゼ。男に屋上に呼び出されたら、野球を入れられるかもしれないけど、女なら告白だろう。Man, I've seen so many animes and I've played so many visual novels where the girl comes to see the guy on the rooftop. <laughs> like that ever happened. <laughs> Hearing Suji's words, the girl suddenly froze in horror. Man, that's quite a blatant reaction. Huh? Um, did I come at a bad time? Guess so. So, why did this girl fall from the roof? She was in this situation five minutes before it happened. She tried to confess but ended up being rejected and heartbroken. Or was it just a freak accident that she avoided this time because I showed up? I really wanted to get out of here, but knowing what I saw happen before, I couldn't move at all. And the girl's expression was almost painful. <laughs> セクハラしてるんじゃねえよ。それにしても、ビビったら、心臓に悪い。Yeah, really、お前は心臓がいくつあるんだよ。どの道、致命傷じゃねえか。もう十分に面倒だけどな。何をしているのだお主は
I gave the girl a moment to calm down before I said anything else to her. Although the crow came over to see what was happening, she soon got bored and floated away. Ha! Like a balloon when I wouldn't talk to her. Well, I can't talk to you, crow. I'm gonna look like a crazy person. When a crow doesn't have anything to do, she likes to sit all day on the monorail that goes around the city. Or sometimes she just goes for leisure strolls through the atmosphere. But putting that aside, Christ, it's hot. I wiped the sweat from my brow with the back of my hand. When the rooftop is open to students, but most people don't go there during the summer and winter. They're generally just too lazy to leave the air-conditioned classrooms. Even the students who think of eating lunch outside for a change of pace would prefer eating in the shade of the courtyard over the hot rooftop. Oh no. I turned my attention back to the girl, who was looking up at me. She looked quite confused, but at least she had calmed down. Oh, I guess you don't know who I am after, at all. Let me introduce myself. I was just passing through when I saw you with my classmate, Suji. We're both second years, and my name is Ray. Nice, senpai. Ano, Miyoji wa? Sour Tori? Just call me Ray. I'm not big on my last name. Apologize, man. So <coughs> you really think I'm that scary? <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Oh god. <sighs> Damn it, she's come full silver. This girl must know how integral repetition is to the chemistry, chemistry of a good comedy duo. Without even li realizing it. Surely if someone took her under their wing, she could become famous. Whoa, 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 you got me all wrong. I I'm not trying to start a comedy doing here. <laughs> Forget it, just talking to myself here though. I have a feeling that your destiny might be waiting for you to come inside. Come inside? Her eyes widened with disbelief. She clearly didn't know what I was talking about. Well, I guess that would confuse anyone. I tried to calm her down by telling a bunch of dumb jokes, but it was plain to see she was incredibly nervous about talking to someone who she didn't know. Well anyway, let's sit down and talk. Uh huh, what? I don't really think you should stand and talk considering what happened earlier. <sighs> she sat down like I told her. There we go. I was just glad she was cooperating with me. I sat on the ground with her not taking my eyes off her. Ah! 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 <laughs> Where, uh, where are you? I, I need that. Oh, thank you. Oh God, that's better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to censor that. <coughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to ch change the, 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 the text box. A little while. For a little while. Just enough to censor some of the parts. No, it's, it's nothing. It's just that I could see her panties. Like green, huh? Play one ones aren't bad either, but I like the mature sort of impressions, different colors can leave. It was just a side benefit though, so I didn't point it out. There certainly wasn't any reason to. This is a little hard for me to explain, so let me just confirm a few things. So you tried to tell Suji how you felt, but you were too nervous to actually do it. And then I barged down you guys at the worst possible time, right? <sighs> Oh, I just realized that <coughs> I can't actually use this uh, text box because then you guys can't see it if I do censor it. So I'm gonna have to go back to the way it was before. You look terribly discouraged about the whole thing. <coughs> Man, what a bummer. I wonder what to do next. 
After a long time to save her from the fall, my work here was pretty much done. Back to you, I looked like some weird, weird upperclassman who came in and messed everything up right when she was trying to soak up her feelings. She wouldn't believe me if I told her the truth, and besides my time reminding me of this, it wasn't something I'd talk to others about in earnest, such as the most troublesome aspect of time traveling. So you were trying to confess after all, huh? Well, it's really... It's just really impressive that you worked up the courage to try. I'm not joking or flattering you here. I wish I had a girlfriend too, but I've never been brave enough to confess my feelings to someone. Didn't you confess your feelings? Well, no, you didn't actually confess your feelings because you didn't have feelings. You just said, oh, go out on a date with me too. Ma Ma Makoto? I really think that's amazing. <clears throat> That said, I'm kind of curious, what do you like about Suji? <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm, I'm going to leave it off here because... Uh, the patty shop, man, I can't concentrate. I'm trying so hard not to look. It's hard, man. Like, it's right there in your face. Oh, God. Well, I hope you guys enjoy Chrono Clock. It's going to be more <laughs> of it. So stay tuned for the next one.